to Warrior Way News. I'm Jaden. And I'm McKenna. Let's get roped into Jaden's article about the Anthony sisters. Yeehaw! The National High School Rodeo is one of the fastest growing youth organizations with approximately 12,500 students competing from states around the country. Each year, the NHSRA produces two elite youth rodeos in the world, the National Junior High Finals Rodeo and the National High School Finals Rodeo. Josie Anthony is a freshman at Crofton High School. She has been competing in 4-H rodeos since she was 8 years old. She competes in barrels, pole bending, breakaway roping, goat tying, and team roping. Anthony has consistently made it to the South Dakota Junior High State 4-H Rodeo. She won the reserve champion in breakaway roping for the 2020 South Dakota Junior High 4-H State Rodeo in Fort Pierre. Competing in the 4-H Rodeos has continually motivated her to compete in junior high and high school rodeo. Her favorite memory from rodeoing was indeed her second place finish in the 2020 state finals, she said with a smile. She went on to say that her favorite events were neck and neck between breakaway and barrels. Anthony stated that her favorite part of the rodeo was meeting all the people and hanging out with them after the rodeos. Anthony's next competition will possibly be a jackpot sometime this winter, otherwise she will train until the first competition occurs when the spring season rolls around. JC Anthony is a 7th grader at Crofton High School. She has also been competing in 4-H rodeos since she was 8 years old. She also competes in barrels, pole bending, breakaway roping, goat tying, and team roping. JC joined her sister Josie this year at the South Dakota Junior High 4-H State Rodeo in Fort Pierre as well. Her favorite memory from rodeoing was going to South Dakota for the Junior High State 4-H Finals Rodeo. She said it was a good learning experience and that it was fun to be competing against the best of the best. Her favorite event is breakaway. Anthony's next competition will also possibly be a jackpot with her older sister sometime this winter, or it will be when the season starts back up in the spring. Another Crofton High School student has joined the Anthony sisters in the rodeo circuit. Sophomore Blair Jordan will begin competing in goat tying, barrels, breakaway, and pole bending this spring. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm roping! Well, we better stop horsing around and giddy up into the band article with Nate. The Crofton Warrior Marching Band is notorious for being small and mighty. Queen is the theme for this year's marching show, which everyone seems to enjoy. The Warriors have had three competitions so far. The band has had crazy success so far, with the highest score possible in all categories in two competitions. On Wednesday, September 30th, the first competition was held at Pierce High School. There, many bands gave it their all to try to score the highest out of all the other bands, yet the Marching Warriors came out on top and earned a superior rating. On Saturday, October 3rd, the second and final traveling competition for the season was held at Wayne State College. This is the first time that the Warriors marched on this field, so it was a new experience for the whole band. It was a turf field, which was also a challenge because it was so short. The Warriors really had to be crisp and consistent with every step. The Crofton Marching Warriors rose to the challenge and again got straight ones and another superior rating. On Saturday, October 10th, the Zildjian Vic Firth virtual competition was held at the Crofton High School football field at 7.30. The Marching Warriors performed with confidence on the field and are still waiting for their results. Holy fall! Nate's excited for fall! Let's fall right into this fall questionnaire that you guys filled out! I sent out a fall survey on Google Forms asking some questions about the different aspects of fall. What do you look forward to when fall rolls around? New coffee flavors? Wearing sweaters slash flannels? Watching the leaves change colors? Or cooler temperatures? Topping it out was watching the leaves change colors. Second in line was cooler temperatures. Next was wearing sweaters slash flannels, and finally, it was the new coffee flavors. Next, it was asked, what is your favorite treat during the fall season? Apple crisp, pumpkin pie, pumpkin seeds, or caramel apples? Topping that out was pumpkin pies. Next in line was apple crisp. Lastly, the question that was asked is, what is your favorite fall activity? Students and teachers were asked to select three. Hunting, combining, Husker football, watching scary movies, pumpkin carving, or going to haunted houses. First in line was Husker football that topped it out with 86%. Next was hunting, 
then going to haunted houses, watching scary movies, pumpkin carving, and lastly combining. The young Croft and Girls golf team consisted of one freshman, April Gunther, and four sophomores, Paris Walter, Francine Zuleta, Araya Nielsen, and Piper Dather. The team was coached by Luke DeBlau. Coach DeBlau stated, As with most other things in 2020, the girls' golf season has been a little different. We had a couple miss some time while in quarantine, but they did great and did the best with what they could control. It's a very young team with four sophomores and one freshman. The girls are gaining confidence and improving the more experience they get. The personal best scores the athletes shot were a 131 for Walter, Zuleta shot a 125, Nielsen had a 124, Dather shot a 138, and Gunther's best was 151. The team's average of strokes ended up around 142. Coach DeBlau stated, His most improved player this season was Paris Walter. The Crofton Girls Golf Team ended their season at the District Tournament on Monday, October 5th at Fair Play Golf Course in Norfolk. Friday, October 16th, Varsity Football at Norfolk Catholic at 7 p.m. Saturday, October 17th, Marching Band at Yankton. Monday, October 19th, Varsity Volleyball Conference Tournament, JV Football at Hardington Cedar Catholic at 6.30 p.m. Tuesday, October 20th, Varsity Volleyball Conference Tournament. Wednesday, October 21st, FCCLA District Leadership Conference. Thursday, October 22nd, Volleyball Mid-State Conference Finals. Kindergarten Fire Safety Tips. Do not play with fire. Perfect. Do not play with candles. Be careful, the stove might be hot. Be careful around fireworks. Do not play with matches. If you close, catch on fire, you stop, drop, and roll. Check your batteries in your smoke alarm. It's in long, go up, get out, done. If there is smoke, get low to the ground. No high for the fighter fighter. No tours out of your house. Have a family meeting spot. If there's a fire, get out and stay out. Don't forget to call 911.